So you've gone ahead and asked your students a short answer question. Now you're left with a bunch of submissions to review. But what if AI can do this review for you? A bonus is that you can do all of that right inside of PowerPoint. That way you have no extra tools, no switching tabs, and no manual reviewing. With ClassPoint, you can ask your open-ended questions during your lesson, collect those live student responses, and have AI summarize everything for you just in a few seconds. You'll see the most common answers that your students submitted, any misconceptions that they had, and can even ask quick follow-up questions on their responses. Let me show you how easy it is to set up and use. In your PowerPoint file that you're going to use during class, we first need to add a short answer question into our slide deck. So we can duplicate this slide here. You guys can just add a new one and then type out the question that you want to ask your students. From there, the next step would be to add our short answer button onto the slide. So that's located in your class point tab of your PowerPoint ribbon, and then just click short answer. If you don't have this class point tab, you can download and install class point for free at classpoint.io. And if you don't have a question in mind that you want to ask your students, you're struggling to come up with one, have class point AI get a question based on the information on your slide instead. It's a little bit quicker and easier. You can take a look at the video linked up above or down below to learn more about that. But once the question button is on your slide, the the side panel will open up here with some customizable options for your question. So you can allow multiple submissions or make the participant names um, hidden so that way students can submit anonymously. From there, you can also set up any play options that will just determine the behavior of the question once you're in your PowerPoint presentation mode. Now that the setup is complete, to get those AI insights, we first have to get our student responses. So let's enter our PowerPoint presentation mode. And from here, to give our students the joining instructions, we can click on this class code in the top right corner. From there, students can either scan this QR code or go to the website classpoint.app, type in this class code and their name, and then they are good to go. When all of your students are joined in, we can exit out of that and click on the short answer button to start receiving those student responses. Responses. So we can see those responses come in live. You guys are feel, feel free to review them as they come in. And once all of the responses are in, we can click this close submission button. Once the question is closed, we can click on the AI insights and ClassPoint AI will automatically provide a quick summary of all of your student insights. So we can quickly review that, but then you can continue chatting with the AI insights to get a little bit more information. Here we can say what were the most popular answers. And we have a desire to belong, authority of social norms, and some group dynamics with mentions of who submitted which results as well. And this, these conversations in AI Insights work no matter what language your PowerPoint and student submissions are in. We could also ask, were there any misconceptions? and quickly review those results from the AI as well. So you guys can continue chatting with the AI insights here in your PowerPoint presentation, or you could also do it after class, which might be a little bit more convenient, whichever is more helpful for you. So after class to go and find those AI insights, we can exit out of this and in your class point tab, we can click on this reports icon. From there, it will open up our class point web app. So you guys can sign into your account. Then our current class is ongoing, so we'll end that. That way we are able to review. And from here, we can click back into the class that we just had, and you'll see an activity of that short answer question. And in this three dot menu here, we can select Ask Class Point AI. And from here, you can go on to continue that conversation with the AI and continue asking other questions. Maybe we want to group the answers. So we can dive a little bit deeper and find out more of which students are understanding and which students still need some help. Whether you're teaching math, science, or language arts, AI Insights will help give you faster feedback, support every learner, and identify patterns in student understanding across any subject and any language. Try it out in your next PowerPoint lesson and see how much time you can save. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, that way you stay updated with all of ClassPoint's latest tips and tricks, along with any other EdTech tips for your classroom.